Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Director, in your opening comments, you said this was an unusual case. I, I would say that's the understatement of the year. Husband of the subject meets with the Attorney General three days before Secretary Clinton is interviewed by the FBI. Nine people get to sit in with Secretary Clinton during that interview. One of those was her Chief of Staff, Cheryl Mills, who was the subject of the investigation. Five people get some kind of immunity. Five people get some kind of immunity, yet no one is prosecuted. Three of those people who get immunity take the fifth in front of Congress, and one of them doesn't even bother to show up when he's subpoenaed. It's supposed to have been at that very chair you're sitting at. And of course, the Attorney General announces that she's going to follow your recommendations, even though she doesn't know what those recommendations are, the only time she's ever done that. So of course this was unusual. We've never seen anything like this, which sort of brings me to the, the post. I'd like to put up the post that some have talked about, which is the post by Mr. Combetta on Reddit. And you said earlier that you don't know if you uh, examined this during your investigation, so let's examine it now. I need to strip out a VIP's address from a bunch of archived email. Basically, they don't want the VIP's email address exposed to anyone. Now, Director, when I hear the term strip out email address, I think of somebody's trying to hide something, somebody's trying to cover up something, and it sort of raises an important question from these two sentences. Who's the they? who wants something hid, and who's the VIP who also wants something hid? Director Comey, is it likely the VIP refer well, actually not just a VIP, it's a very, very important person according to Mr. Combetta. Is it likely that that person is Secretary Clinton? Yes, sure. Okay, and is it also likely that the they refers to her Secretary Clinton staff and specifically Cheryl Mills? I don't know that. Either her, her lawyers or some staff that had tasked him with the production. So one other thing that's important on that, if we could put that back up, one other thing that's important is the date. The date at the top says July 24, 2014. So whenever I see a date, I'm sure you do the same thing, I always look at what's happening about that same time frame, what may have happened directly before that, and maybe directly after that. So I went back to your reports that you guys had uh, given to us. The first report back last month, August 18, 2016, page 15. On page 15 it says, during the summer of 2014, State indicated to Cheryl Mills, State Department indicated to Cheryl Mills a request for Clinton's work-related emails would be forthcoming. State Department gives Cheryl Mills a heads up that she's got to go round up all of Secretary Clinton's email. On that same page, it says the House Select Committee on Benghazi had reached an agreement with the State Department regarding production of documents on July 23, 2014, just the day before, which I find kind of interesting. Then from your report that we got just last week, after reviewing several documents dated in and around July 23rd, 2014, Paul Combetta had a conversation with Cheryl Mills. And after reviewing a July 24th, there's that date again, 2014 email from Brian Pagliano, Paul Combetta explained Cheryl Mills was concerned Clinton's then current email address would be disclosed publicly. So, it sure looks to me like it's Secretary Clinton, as you said but also that it's Cheryl Mills and Brian Pagliano who are urging Mr. Combetta to cover this stuff up. You agree? From what you read, it sure sounds like they're trying to figure out a way to strip out the actual email address from what they produce. Well, they're actually trying to strip it all out. PST filed everything. Here's the, here's, here's, here's the takeaway in my mind. Mills gets a heads up. Cheryl Mills gets a heads up in midsummer of 2014. July 23rd, the day before Mr. Combetta's Reddit post, the Benghazi Committee and the State Department reach an agreement on production of documents. Cheryl Mills has a conversation with Paul Combetta. He goes on Reddit then and tries to figure out how he can get rid of all this email, even though he's not successful then. He has to do it later down the road with Bleach Bit. And then the clincher, the clincher. Just last week, he's going online and trying to delete these Reddit posts. He's trying to cover up his tracks. He's trying to cover up the cover-up. So I guess the question is, and someone's asked it earlier, in light of all this, are you thinking about reopening the investigation? I may have misunderstood what you said during the question. I don't understand that to be talking about deleting the emails. I understand to be talking about removing from the from line the actual email address. And, but uh, anyhow, I, maybe I misunderstood you, but the Well, the same guy later bleach bit, took bleach bit and did, did delete emails. Sure, yeah. So my, my question is, the, the guy you gave immunity to, the guy who took the fifth in front of us, is online trying to figure out how to remove email addresses, change evidence, later uses bleach bit. That guy, 
who won't testify in front of Congress, and he has correspondence with Cheryl Mills, Cheryl Mills, a subject of the investigation, Cheryl Mills, who also got some kind of immunity agreement, Cheryl Mills, who walked out of certain questions, walked out for part of the questions during the interview with the FBI, seems to me that's pretty compelling, and the timeline's pretty compelling as well. I'm not, I'm not following compelling of what? There's no doubt that Combetta was involved in deleting emails. Uh, after, he, conversations, he had the, after conversations with Cheryl Mills. He had the O-S-H-I-T moment, as he told us. And that's why it was very important for us to interview this guy to find out who told you to do that, why did you do that. That's why he was given use of it. Did you know about the Reddit post when you interviewed him? I, I, as I said earlier, I think we did. I, I, I think our investigators did. I'm not positive as I sit here. Mr. Chairman, I, I, for the, I mean, the guy's trying to, do, to cover up the Reddit post where he's trying to figure out how he can cover up the email addresses. And I find that compelling, particularly in light of the fact that just the day before, he's talking with Cheryl Mills, and, and the State Department is on notice that the Benghazi Committee wants these very documents. I find that compelling, but obviously the FBI didn't. And I, this is just one more, one more in that list of things that make this case highly unusual. Thank you.